Welcome to the old horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy, home of the Ohio State Buckeyes and one of the great settings in all of college football. Boy, the scarlet and gray already rocking this house. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Buckeyes will put total leather to crank us up. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So Colorado's offense is on the field for the first time today. And this guy feels like a throwback. Back in the day, the running backs were always the stars. This guy fits that mold. And he can do a lot of different things, too. He's not a one-trick pony. This guy can tote the rock. He can catch the ball. He can block. We might even see him throw the ball in this game. This is a jack-of-all-trades. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. Looking to throw at Sanders. Finds his big tight end. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Gets it out quickly. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They try to go draw, but there's just way too much penetration in the middle of the offensive line, and that the offense has a negative play. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed in the middle. It's Hayden. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. That's why, as a defense, you feel okay playing man coverage on third down because you know you've got linebackers and you've got players on your defense that can cover these dangerous running backs mano a mano. Nice job tackling in the open field. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Just needs a crack to get a return. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. So Ohio State's offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. One thing to watch, can this guy get in the quarterback's head and make him take a peek at the rush, David? Dang, Skippy, that's what you want to do. You want to make this guy a little bit more human and not as much of a game-breaker at the quarterback spot? Get some pressure on him. Hit him a few times. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, but he can't hurt you if he's laying on his back. And this defensive end can put him there often. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Looking for space. It's Henderson. He's knocked down in the backfield. A swarming defense, and he'll lose seven. Man, a lot of times when you blitz that linebacker, it's about timing. You don't show your hand, and he gets up to the line of scrimmage, gets right through the line, and makes the tackle for a loss. And as soon as the running back gets the football, he's got a face full of linebacker. Not much you can do there. Like, you got to have a little better block. You got to identify that blitz a little bit faster by the offensive line. 
fires to the big fella. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de doo You've set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Hey, listen, the quarterback didn't get the completion on that throw, but that doesn't mean you can't try again. Trust in your playmakers outside to push the field and stretch it vertically and make a play for you. It won't surprise me to see this QB take more shots as this game goes on. Handoff to the single running back. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs, but I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. The defense coming up big there, and the sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few, and you feel comfortable getting home, and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and that's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. The Buffaloes will try to pin them back with the punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He's got great speed. Little pressure on the coverage team there, and they'll stop him at the 47-yard line. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Looking deep. Makes a catch at the 20. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, they come up with a huge play. They're going to be down in the red zone now. And I think, David, the mentality changes a little bit for a defense, right? Playing in this position of the field. Yeah, the field shrinks. Now it becomes a little bit easier to play. More man coverage. You go down in that red area. But giving up the big pass play, it's always, it's a backbreaker. You, you want to make them earn it down the field, not give up these big plays. But the QB saw it right away. And really good job of executing and making the big play. Well, the defense came into this game ready for the quarterback option, and everyone played their assignment. They forced the quarterback to keep it. They rallied to him, made a tackle. Nice job early in this game playing good assignment football. They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. The give out of the gun. Running behind those pads, he gets a couple before he stopped at the 18. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Let's it fly deep downfield. And it's incomplete as he was trying to finish the drive with a score. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing.
They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Looking for space. It's Hayden. Maybe picked up a couple as he gets it to the 14. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Now they've got breathing room. Got six all the way out to the 20. I like the poise by the quarterback on that play, too, because a lot of times, as a quarterback, you see the blitz coming, and immediately you want to audible, you want to try to throw the ball, but he knew that he had a good run play called, and he knew he could leave it on. Heads-up play by the QB. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. And, David, I know there's a part of you that wonders what if had you played tight end. You and I have been out in the field pregame before. We've been spinning it around with your athleticism. I know you wonder what it would have been like to go make plays like that. I, I tell you what, it, I do wonder what if now, Jesse, because now you can't hit these guys. <laughs> like, you're not allowed to, to hit them high, all the targeting. Like, if you're a big body guy with good hands, you can go make a lot of money. You might have been a little bit safer. Might not have got hurt. So, yeah, you might not have been that bad of a living. Man, that dude tackles a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. On the move, it's Sanders. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. They'll run for it on third and short. And the Buffaloes get enough for the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. Got some work to do on second down after that last one. They need 13. Using the quick game. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few defense man it helps you a lot when you can be a linebacker or a corner or safety anybody and you see the QB throw the football now I can break on the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play the Buffaloes will hustle through the line on third down going up top he's gonna fire deep and they can't hook up on the big play and that brings up a fourth down 
it's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of this spot. Nice execution by this defense. And the Buffaloes will punt this one away. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. He'll pull it on the read. At the 35, he's open. Keeps it and gets the first down. And that was a huge one that almost went to the house. The defense kept him from scoring. That was just an open alley for that back. I don't think he was touched once before the tackle. So he wouldn't even been down a two-hand touch? No. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Quarterback on the keeper. Running with power. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea. Because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Throws toward the end zone. And that one's going to be over everybody's head and incomplete. I think when you go through these progressions as a quarterback, you want to find the right guy to throw to, obviously. I just, I didn't think he was the right guy. I didn't think he was really that open. And listen, he sailed and he overthrew. But I might have surveyed the middle of the field a little bit better there. After the incompletion, it's second down. Looking to throw a tower. Quickly complete. Smashes ahead. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. This defense has got to be better in coverage. You want to get off the field, you got to keep defending. You got to do something to make the offense feel uncomfortable. So far, way too easy for this offense. The Buckeyes trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. This is a designed run. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Buckeyes! The defense knew coming into this game they were going to have their hands full. Not only did they have to worry about these running backs in the running game, they had to worry about the quarterback as well. On design runs and on scrambles, they didn't have an answer for him right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that was a six-play, 75-yard drive and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops following and get you the football back. And I think, I think here, too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. That wide receiver on the outside is dangerous. When you're playing zone coverage, it's really hard because you're not chasing him. You can't really get hands on him. You got to make sure you send more guys his direction. Maybe slide those linebackers toward that wide receiver so you got a little more help on the outside. 
looking to move it through the air. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. Tackle is made after the first down. Yeah, I love that the QB understood. I'm going to put some stank on this. I'm going to throw it as hard as I can quickly, right when he's breaking out of that curl. Nice job getting it to him quick so we can get a first down. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's taking the shot. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. I know that shot down the field was incomplete, but you got to keep taking shots. Those receivers love to go deep. It gives them a breath of fresh air. They get more excitement. They're going to the quarterback with a little bit more juice because you know you're feeding them. So I would keep taking deep shots down the field. Looking to throw it again. A little screen to the running back. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. Now, how about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. He'll do it himself. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. This is an offense that has a chance to be one of the better rushing attacks in the country at the end of the year because of the athleticism of this quarterback. You're going to see this guy do damage with his legs this year. The Buffaloes have it with a first and 10. Looking for room. It's Hayden. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. I wonder if I can quote the great Reese Davis. That was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They'll leave it with the lone back. It makes it past the marker. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. Now on first down from the 30. He's looking to throw it. Safe completion on the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. Yeah, and he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. To throw, it's Sanders. He's got his man. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. And I love working the slot receivers, and you see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense, for sure. Third down, and this crowd will blow out a vocal cord to help this defense. Catch in the middle. It's Horn. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain third down a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open who do you trust the most no it's not about the x's and the o's it's about the jimmies and the joes and when my guy's better than you and i get you matched up out wide and i know i trust you i'm finding you. trying to find his man on first down excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away zone coverage that time in the cornerback a nice job with his eyes he's watching the quarterback he sees the ball thrown so he knows exactly when to break on it he's able to break it up for an incompletion operating in the red zone here on second down couldn't connect on first down now back to the air they get to him as he throws reels it in in the end zone touchdown buffalo 
And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Ready to try the point after. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Off play action on first down. Looking for a deep man. Reels it in on the left side. All kinds of running room. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Quick strike touchdown comes out and jump starts the offense. Man, we see this in college football, so much explosiveness and firepower, and we get high-scoring game after high-scoring game, and it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points. So you got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut it to a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Got his man quickly. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. Defense calls a quick timeout there, perhaps a little confusion about what call they were in. And the Buffaloes line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll call for the fair catch here. Just under half a minute to go before the break. They'll take over first and ten. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And he was off to the races, and he gets it to the 45. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. He's going to pass. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he'll run into the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. That's number two on the day, having a day. I mean, you know he's going to catch the football, and you know he's going to make plays after he catches. Those are the kind of guys that you feature, and you find them, and they produce like this, you keep finding them.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team out there getting set. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Looking for room. It's Hayden. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Columbus for an entertaining first half than you? And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. Time to put an end to the speculation and find out they're inside the horseshoe. Looks as if we're set to crank it up here in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively, you understand, like the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass-happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well, so you have to know where your answers are. Back to throw at Tower. Got his man downfield. He's off to the races. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Ohio State. And the route is on. When these offenses get in the rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Bring in the heat. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency has got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. They, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. That's reeled in. It's hard. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. 
How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. On the run, it's Hayden. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. Back to pass, it's Sanders. And it's incomplete on third down. Well, third and short, I think the offense was probably expecting blitz. That's why they dialed up the screen, but it did not fool the defense. Great job defending the screen, setting up four. And the Buffaloes send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly... Oh, look out! That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day. So it's been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal to in college football, no doubt. Uh, listen. He's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Well, a good decision there by the QB. A little zone read action. He reads the defensive end crashing down, keeps it himself, gets a nice chunk of yards. And when you do that, you just sort of get the drive going or keep it going, as the case may be. It's amazing in college football now how big of a part of each offense the zone read has become. As we're seeing more and more athletic quarterbacks on rosters. Just finds that little crevice, and he's still up. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And the pummeling has started. It's so nice to have guys that can create these explosive plays like this. You hand it to him, he can do the rest. Look at the speed, look at the elusiveness, get into the end zone. Nice run. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they knew how to close the deal, rolling double nickels and the 55-yard touchdown run. Just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. 
after the productive first down play at second and six. They give it to him again. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. When those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Got it. In the middle, it's Hunter. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling. They're out to the 35. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Movement here from the tight end. They'll run it from the gun. Jukes his way for more. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Running it to the right. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. And the incomplete pass on third down, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's about. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Let's see what he can do with it. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. First down here for the offense. He leaves it with his back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Off the play fake. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football. And now they face third down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him, weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy, and that's why the ball falls incomplete. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Oh, he wants it all. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Touchdown, Ohio State! And the punishment has been extended. A lot of glorious days in the history of the Buckeyes, and this might put this guy right at the top of the list for a single game. And that list of names is incredible. Like, we could go down the list of so many guys that have been such great playmakers, so dynamic. So to think about putting yourself in that category, we're going to be talking about winning trophies and this guy being an All-American by season's end. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. They kept that one off in style. A 74-yarder for the score. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Going with the counter play here. They believe in that running game. Got six before he stopped at the 23. 
when running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. From the gun, the running back has it. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. To the ground to try to pick up the first. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. But how fast did they get in there and make that tackle for a loss? If you blinked, you missed it. Nice job by the defense getting penetration. Everybody up near the line of scrimmage, shooting the gaps quick getting in the backfield, getting the guy on the ground. He only needs a sliver of daylight. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They go to the ground. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. This has been a complete obliteration so far, as the third quarter stats will show you. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. He'll try it again. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. And the defense down in this game, they just can't do anything to stop this offense at this point, Dave. Right now, they know they're going to be trying to run the football and try and ice the game, but there's nothing at this point it seems they can do. Yeah, and it's frustrating. I, I got to sell out, man. I, I got to bring as many guys to the line of scrimmage as I can. I got to find a way to get this ball back to my offense. The, the clock is not my friend, and them running the football is only going to run this thing out quicker. i got to find a way to make something happen, strip the football, do something. This offense all game long has been running really well, and I'm really impressed by how well they've recruited at the running back position. They've got some dynamic players coming into the game at different points, spelling each other, keeping each other fresh, and they're hurting this defense. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Anytime you play this offense, the challenge is stopping this quarterback from running the ball. And you've already seen in this game, he's been able to break off a few runs and do some nice things. That time, though, the defense had his number and tackled him for a loss. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. On the run, it's Howard. He looks that one in nicely. Strong, firm tackle. That big pickup on what they call the drag route, but if you hit it on time, you can hit the turbo booster. And you've got to be accurate on the throw, too, Reese. Nice job by the QB there, putting it out in front of his receiver to make an easy catch and then advance it. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. On the ground, it's Judkins. And eventually taken down, but what about that spin move? Gives him the first down yardage. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And he's brought down after a nice game. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. 
He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. I'll tell you what, when those little guys make those physical plays like that, it kind of jacks everybody up in the huddle because it's usually the guy breaking ankles, but he's like breaking tackles. Now he's giving you some serious energy. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Trying to punch it in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. They're going to throw it on third and goal. They won't let him in. He had a nose for that end zone, but he will be stopped short. What a third down stop by this defense. Third down and goal, no problem. You know that guy. Every time he touches the football, you hold your breath because he's so dynamic at the quarterback spot. They were ready, and they forced the fourth and goal. Fourth and goal from the two. Can they finish this drive? Touchdown, Buckeyes! And the stomping has commenced. This has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day, putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That touchdown drive covered 61 yards and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync, and that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. This time, he's got his man. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game, but trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. He makes a stop, but a nice pickup there on first down leaves them in second and manageable. Sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting him the ball and letting him play. Especially nowadays with running backs being so good out of the backfield. You know they're going to catch it, and there's so many ways to use them, but exactly. Get it to him, let him break tackles, let him make plays. Easy decision. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Look, I know this guy's tiny, but on these slant throws as a DB, you got to get your hands on him because he's just too quick. He's going to cross your face too easy otherwise, and he did right there. And the Buffaloes are moving quickly down the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Coming after him. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Man, I've been there before as a quarterback. Sometimes you just wish the game would already be over, right? You've had nothing go your way all game long. You're trailing late. They're still getting sacks. And you just want to go back to the locker room. You want to get in the ice tub and start healing for next week. That's the last thing you want as an offense. A negative play. A sack on first down. On second down, looking to throw. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. 
defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Touchdown, Ohio State! Not content to get the fumble, they scored with the fumble. But these guys wanted to make a statement. Statement has been delivered. It's your job to stop them. Oh, don't run the score up. Well, do something about it. The defense has to step up and make plays. Obviously, they're not willing to do that, so just keep running plays and keep scoring. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. The kickoff team just about set to go, and that defense is eager to get back out there after the scoop and score. They'll bring it back from inside his five. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Wants to throw on first down. Pressure in his face, and he lets it fly. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Another hit on the quarterback. All day long, this defense has been able to pin their ears back and get after this guy. And because of that, he's never gotten into a rhythm throwing the football. And that's why they find themselves trailing here late in the fourth quarter. Scanning the field, it's Sanders. He's got an open man. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Great job by the offense. Listen, if the defense is going to sit back in zone, you know what you got to do. Run those crossers across the formation. Those guys that are looking at the quarterback, they're not trying to pick up receivers all the time. Make those precise throws, right in those holes. Get those first downs. Get those big chunks. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Find space on the right. And he was off to the races. Finally tripped up at the 36. And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over. Maybe it's been over for a while, Reese. But don't tell that to this quarterback and his teammates. They're still out there scrapping and clawing. Back to the air one more time. He'll take a shot. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. Listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. They've got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. A strike downfield. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good. So efficient. Such a good route runner. Got the speed. Got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him. And especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the 1. And listen, the defense playing really conservative, right? You got the lead, but here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get sacks. I got to get to the quarterback. Like, I got to make sure I'm getting him, knocking him off the spot. Patting my stats, by the way. Got a lot of sacks late in games and we had a big lead, but that's okay. That's what you're supposed to do. Keep competing, defense. Caught in the backfield. It's Hart. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. A pass in these tight quarters, if you're going to put the ball up, you'd like to think that you'd either have space or get it downfield a little bit. Yeah, I like the defense understanding where the end zone is and then defending that line. It's okay to make the catch. You just got to make sure you get the ball carrier down in the field to play. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. This is a short kick, but the problem is the angle. 
It's good. Easy call for the refs. And the field goal is good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit. And I know a lot of people are scratching their heads why they try to kick that field goal. You're in the fourth quarter. You're down a boatload of points. A field goal isn't going to do it. If you want to win this game, you need touchdowns. I would anticipate for every possession they get from here on out, man, you've got to be way more aggressive. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather on the run from inside his own five really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. the buckeyes roll that offense back out there on the ground it's judkins and he'll pick up one it brings up second and nine they're in command of this game. Now let's see if they tried to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in it and keep chucking and keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defense's job to stop you. 